gets out. There's a noise. Was it pad? Was it pad? I think it. Oh no, he's walking. He's walking. There was definitely a noise. Going for the pull shot, trying to get it away to long on. Wasn't given out by umpire Sincox. Mind you, there may have been a little nod there, but there was definitely a big noise. Well, what a nice record to get now. Michael Bevan's the man, and Makai and Tini's done it again. And I can't agree with you more. He's bowled superbly. It's a little bit of frustration and an out-of-character shot by Michael Bevan, certainly. No doubt. It's exactly what South Africa needed. Right, so Natini strikes, and uh, with the total on... Big appeal, and Billy Bowden says that would have carried on and hit the stumps. Pakistan on the rack. Always an interesting one to look at when Natini gets LBWs. That's going to hit middle and leg about three quarters of the way up. Billy Bowden liked it. Yeah. And that should be gone. And Brian Tini has picked up his foot. Brilliant stuff. It's only a question of time. Nathan Bracken departs. And straight on. And the easiest of catches to Boucher. Bracken gone for... Wait, there it is. That's all six. That's six. That's six. Done and dusted. And that... In the air. This is comfortable. Gone. Charles Langeveld running around to his right from mid on. Comfortable catch. The ball just coming on a little quicker. Got the half volley, put it away. And that didn't look short enough to pull. He didn't play a horizontal shot. It was sort of coming from below. And it was a lap shot that was only ever going to go in the air, even if he did middle the ball. That's a gimme wicket for South Africa. Forgotten man of Australian cricket, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. Tini, as Alan Donald has said, he's got his line absolutely right. First over, and it's telling. This is Tini when he's in good form and a good catch from the, the man with the buckets there. Oh, what a great delivery! Was that an inside edge? Yes, he's off. He's gone. What a fantastic start for Antini and for South Africa, and Australia already on the back foot. Fantastic start, little inside edge. The big, big fish. He goes for one. It's one for one. This could go into Pollock's hands at third man. It is, it does. And Antini has struck again. Hafiz is gone. Pakistan in trouble. Well, Imran Farad saw some width here and went after it he flashed hard but not hard enough top edge straight to Sean Pollock took it easily two wickets in two overs for Makai Antini in Pakistan well did he get anything on it yes he did says Billy Bowden and Tini takes another well, that's a bonus for Natini. Short one down leg side. There's no doubt they decided to bounce. Chad Malik looked very uncomfortable. Well, Boucher, he's standing quite well back. He has time to take a step and then get the power stride. It's left hand. And after such a great fighting innings, he follows it up with a catch like that. Shot Malik. It is. Michael Clark comes to the wicket. That's out. That's caught behind. That's a huge neck. Short outside off stump. Shortish outside off stump. Going for the big booming drive on the up stuff. Have another look at it. Well, he's ripped the heart out of this top order. Would you believe it? Australia seven for four. 
Kaya Tini, who's uh, got his line so so good uh, up front. Well, a good length as well. Pressure on. Still a slip and gully in place. Oh, he's got him! A little wide. War's gone after it, and Tini has got a big wicket. And Australia are in a bit of trouble now at 79 for four war gone for just two and what a blow that is for Makai Rantini well Makai T deserves that he's bowled well this is uh, his 11th delivery it's the right line maybe a fraction wide doesn't quite bounce enough the bottom edge Steve War looking for one of his favorite shots Boucher takes a good low catch and now Australia struggling Steve Waugh gone for 15 for six. Natini, who's bowling well. Oh, oh that's our two. Yes, caught behind. Makaya Natini is having a ball. Well, a big outside edge. Australia's only hope, the only remaining batsman, Damien. No, it's not. It's Shane Warne. Shane Warne has nicked it. There's still hope. <laughs> <laughs> only hope you need is Bob up at the moment, mate. At this stage, Shane Warne, he's got one short ball and he's buried it straight to Mark Boucher. And, and that's his fifth. Great catch and Shane Warne's out for Nord. What a... Hooked up in the air, there's a man under it. Is this three down? Yes, it is. And Tini takes his third. Martin goes. Australia in all sorts of trouble. Damian Martin, he goes for four. It's five for three. Kayatini, who's uh, got his line so so good uh, up front. Well, a good length as well. Pressure on. Still a slip and gully in place. Oh, he's got him! A little wide. War's gone after it. And Tini has got a big wicket. And Australia are in a bit of trouble now at 79 for four war gone for just two and what a blow that is for Makai Rantini well Makai T deserves that he's bowled well this is uh, his 11th delivery it's the right line maybe a fraction wide doesn't quite bounce enough the bottom edge Steve War looking for one of his favorite shots Boucher takes a good low catch and now Australia struggling Steve War gone for safe pair of hands for Graham Smith and Tini strikes the first blow never easy for a first slip fielder to go across to his left always in two minds I took it well and up and it was also in that awkward position and the fingers uh, should be pointing towards the sky or things of that sort and uh, took it extremely well so and Tini extra pound striking early Pakistan This could go into Pollock's hands at third man. It is. It does. And Antini has struck again. Hafiz is gone. Pakistan in trouble. Well, Imran Farad saw some width here and went after it. He flashed hard, but not hard enough. Top edge straight to Sean Pollock. Took it easily. Two wickets in two overs for Makai Antini. And Pakistan. Telepathy, he's just done it. Oh, and that's uh, surely, that's out, yes, caught behind. Now then, that's an interesting one, wasn't it? He was trying to play that with a flat bat through the offside field. Didn't bounce, I think it may have hit the bottom edge. Well, another wicket has fallen. Another wicket has fallen. The Australians don't need this. Simons is out. They're in trouble here. Yep, he's just trying to stand there and flare through the offside. And I'm afraid he's paid the price. McIntini, ball coming back into him. Umpire Orchard, no doubt. Boucher has taken his fourth catch.